nonlinear space this is x and this is y okay then uh, and you take an element small x here okay then we call an element of y suppose you take y small y this will be called a best approximation from y to x okay best this y is called a best approximation from capital y to x if if norm of x minus y will be the least norm that is norm of x minus y will be less or equal to norm of x minus z for all z belongs to y then you call this y as a best approximation from capital y to x or in other words this will be the infimum of all those norms and if you remember in the theory of metric spaces then this is actually the distance between small x and capital y okay so this is the definition of this approximation from y to some element small x okay that is formally speaking y belongs to capital y is called a best approximation from capital y to small x if norm of x minus y is less or equal to norm of x minus z for all z belongs to y or in other words norm of x minus y will be infimum of norm of x minus z where z varies over y okay and this is actually the distance between small x and the set capital y now one may ask several questions regarding this definition that the first one the first natural question will be that does a best approximation from y to x always exist does a best approximation always exist this is a very natural question one can ask number 2 if exist can there be more than one best approximation from y to x if exist so can there exist more than one best approximation from y to x so this is another question and number 3 how can we find out a best approximation from the set capital y to x so what is the procedure to find out a best approximation from capital y to an element small x so what is the algorithm what is the method to find out 
a best approximation does it have any any formula which will help us to get the best approximation from y to x yeah. okay so these three questions these three viable questions can be posed here and we will answer this question one by one okay okay so let us so firstly suppose you take an inner product space okay so suppose x be an inner product space okay and you consider a subset of x which is y okay and let y subset of x and small x be an element of its closure if it is so then there exist a best approximation from y to x if and only if the only possibility will be if x lies in y so suppose you consider an element from the closure of y then you can find out the best approximation of y to x if the x will surely be in capital y okay why it is so because of this function that is as one can recall that dxy is norm of x minus y right okay if we let that y be a best approximation right from capital y to x okay now since we have assumed that small x to be in y bar so by a known theorem the distance between x and y must be zero that is norm of x minus y must be zero and this implies that x must be y so this small y is in capital y so x is sitting inside capital y so this proves okay so this proves our assertion fact 2 is that that suppose you consider y the subset y to be a convex subset y to be convex convex not any y you are considering the convex sets in capital x then one can find out then there exist if a best approximation exist then this will be unique okay either a best approximation does not exist but if it exists then it will be the unique so there exists at most one best approximation from capital y to x okay why because suppose you consider the case that there exists a best best approximation from y to x 
now you need to show that your claim is that the existence is unique that is if you consider y and y dash the two best approximations from capital y to x then then dxy equals to norm of x minus y equals to norm of x minus y dash and suppose you consider this common value as suppose it is d say okay now since we are living in inner product space so you can apply parallelogram law right so by applying parallelogram law we have two norm of x minus y square two norm of x minus y dash square and this is going to be equal to norm of the sum of these two vectors which is 2x minus y minus y dash square plus the square of the norm of the difference of these two vectors which is y minus y dash square okay now as we have assumed that y be convex so if you take the midpoint this will be in y right because it is half y plus half y so half plus half is 1 so therefore this vector is in capital y okay and as it is in capital y so this implies the norm of x minus y plus y dash by 2 must be greater equal to d because d is the infimum of all those norms so this is must be so this must be greater equal to d and from which you can deduce that uh, so norm of using this equality so norm of y minus y dash square what is that so this is actually 2 into norm of x minus y this is uh, 2d square right this is again plus 2d square and minus of this but this is greater equal to d so that means it is less or equal to minus 4d square now since it is a norm so it must be greater equal to 0 and here also this is 0 so that means norm of y minus y dash is 0 so it is y equal to y dash so this proves our claim okay so if y is assumed to be a convex subset of capital x then you can say that if a best approximation exists then it must be unique okay. now fact 3 okay so we are going to have some kind of method or some formula to deduce the deduce a best approximation from y to x maybe under some imposed conditions so suppose let let uh, sir uh, <coughs> follow Fact one type to the 
Oh, ida. Fact one da. Oh, fact one. Acha acha. Sir, ekhane to inner product space ta mane fact one je jono. Just inner product space ta na dilo chulbe. Konda bola? Oi fact one je ta mane nonlinear space nilo ekta just hoye jachche mona. Fact one da. सरिखान कि लंगस टू कैपिटल वाई ये बेस्ट एप्रक्सिमेशन फ्रॉम कैपिटल वाई टू एक्स इफ एंड ऑन लीव इफ द वेक्टर एक्स माइनस वाई इज ऑर्थोगोनल टू कैपिटल वाई एंड इन दैट केस इन दैट केस द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन x and y will be root toward of inner product x comma x minus 1 okay okay so this is very easy very much easy to prove because suppose so if you if you take any y from capital y such that x minus y is orthogonal to capital y then what will happen then for all z belongs to capital y x minus y is orthogonal to y minus z because y is in capital y and z is in capital y so y minus z is in capital y being a subspace so therefore x minus y is orthogonal to y minus z and therefore you can use parallelogram law for this uh, sorry uh, pythagorean law with these two vectors so by pythagorean law so norm of x minus z square equal to norm of x minus y plus y minus z square and this is this is going to be equal to x minus y square plus norm of y minus z square okay this is true and then you can easily check that the norm of x minus y is less or equal to so norm of x minus y 
is less or equal to norm of x minus z square and if you take out the square the positive non negative square root from both sides so this is true so this is true for all z will of square so this is the infimum of all the distances of capital y to x so therefore y is a best approximation from capital y to x okay now conversely suppose that small y be a best approximation okay now our claim is that x minus y is orthogonal to capital y okay to show this let us take any vector z from capital y where z is non zero okay so without loss of generality let z belongs to y be such that norm z equal to 1 okay now you consider a vector which is a linear combination of the vector y and z what is that suppose you consider a vector which is a w which is y plus x minus y comma set this and uh, yeah so therefore since z is in capital y and y is in capital y so this is an element of capital y being a subspace Okay, so W is an element of capital Y. Now, since capital, uh, since small y is a best approximation, and W is an element of capital Y, so here you can say that this square must be less or equal to this one. And since it is a, it is an inner product space, so you can write down this norm square equal to this and then if you just expand this inner product you will see that this is going to be equal to so this will be so x minus w so w is y plus this so x minus y minus comma z x minus y minus this this is true so therefore you can expand this inner product like this so the first one is x minus y x minus y uh, then then the next one is minus uh, x minus y in our product x minus y comma z z and then again it is uh, in our product x minus y comma z touch x minus y this is true and the last one is plus uh, 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 no last one is
रिभार्स वन दिस इज माइनस नॉम जेड स्क्वायर है तो नॉम जेड स्क्वायर इज वन सो आई कैन इज इज इट आउट सो इट इज नॉम एक्स माइनस दिस अलेट इट तुम्हारे किटे आच्छे सो यू कैन कैंसिल आउट दिस टाम एंड दिस इज स्क्वायर ओके सो नॉर्म ऑफ एक्स माइनस वाई स्क्वायर इज लेस और इक्वल टू नॉर्म ऑफ एक्स माइनस वाई स्क्वायर माइनस दिस सो दिस इज ट्रू इफ एंड ओनली दिस इज जीरो सर इधर तो काट से करो सर दूर तो माइनस है जी दारो अलग भूल बोल रहा मैं ना काट बे तो कैंसिल आउट तो अभी दारो 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 सर हमार मन हम शेषे प्लस माइनस वाई कमा जेड नर्म शेषे टाइम सर हाँ सर चल So therefore, this is true if and only if this is zero. That is, this is zero. Now, since this is true for all z, so this implies x minus y is orthogonal to z, and hence. X minus y is orthogonal to y. Okay. <coughs> Now since small y is an element of capital Y, so x minus y in particular orthogonal to y, and from this you can, and we have so d of x y. 
is norm of x minus y square which is inner product x minus y x minus y so you can expand this so this is going to be x comma x minus y minus y comma x minus y now this is zero so therefore it is the square this is true so therefore dx y is root over you take the non negative square root from both side so this is true dekho thik hai ji na thik hai to ha sir thik hai नेक्स्ट हे सो दैक्ट वन सेज दैट इफ यू टेक ए सबसेट वाई ऑफ एक्स सपोज यू कन्सिडार ए सबसेट वाई ऑफ एक्स हुई इज नट क्लोज देन देर इज सम एक्स सच दैट देर इज नो बेस्ट एप्रक्सिमेशन फ्रम कैपिटल वाई टू स्म एक्स राइट सो इफ y is the proper subset of y okay, y bar then you can find out a small x which is in y bar but not in y so in that case you cannot find out a best ap approximation from capital y to small x fact 2 says that if you take y to be a convex subset then there cannot be two best approximations from y to any small x and fact 3 says that so it will guarantee the existence of the best approximation from a subspace y of an inner product space x for any small x but it gives you some method to find it that is you are going to find out the those y so that x minus y is orthogonal to capital y okay okay now next uh we can have a theorem on on a hilbert space that is a complete inner product space that suppose the theorem is that this is called uniqueness theorem what is the theorem that suppose you take the x be a hilbert space okay here you will need to consider the completeness of the inner product space okay so x be a hilbert space and suppose you take y to be a non empty closed convex subset it is a non empty closed convex subset of x then for every small x of capital x there is a best approximation from y to x and not only that there is a unique best approximation from y to x so there exist a unique best approximation from y to x unique 
So, what is the proof? So, suppose you take a small x belongs to capital X and consider the distance from small x to capital Y and just denote it by small d say. Okay. Now, since you consider this distance, so this says that there exists a sequence, this is actually infimum of norm of x minus z, z belongs to y. right? So, from the property of infimum, you can say that there exists a sequence there exists a sequence z n of y such that limit of norm of x minus z n is equal to d. Okay. Now, from this sequence you consider any two member. Suppose you take z n and another one is z n. And with respect to these two members, you can form a vector x minus form two vectors x minus z n and x minus z n. Okay. And with these two vectors, you can apply parallelogram law again to get the two norm of x minus z n square two norm of x minus z n square equal to norm of 2 x minus z n minus z n square plus norm of z n minus z n square. Okay. And then you will get Okay. Then, now since you have assumed that y be a convex subset, then you can apply, you can use the same procedure as we have uh, witnessed in the fact 2. Yeah. The same thing, the same arguments can be applied here. So, since so you take the midpoint, so this is belongs to y, and so norm of x minus z n plus z n by 2 is beta equal to d. So, therefore, from this 2, so norm of z n minus z n square. So, it must be less or equal to 2 norm of x minus z n square plus 2 norm of x minus z n square minus. Now, from this you can see that it is 4 d square. Okay. Now, as we have already Yeah. So, it is seen that limit of norm x minus z n is d. So, therefore, this tends to, so this is 2 d square plus 2 d square minus 4 d square. So, that means, the limit will be 0 as n comma n tends to 0. So, what we have achieved that is norm of z n minus z m tends to 0 as n comma m tends to infinity. And what does it say? This says that the sequence z n is a Cauchy sequence. In x. Okay. Now, since uh, sorry Cauchy sequence in uh, okay since uh, in x that means in particularly in y. Now, since y is a closed subset of x and y and x is a complete metric space, so therefore, y is, uh, note that, 
y is complete okay so this is a cauchy sequence in y which is a complete matrix space so you can find out a z belongs to capital y such that limit of zn equal to z and since limit of zn equal to z then limit of x minus zn must be x minus z right so therefore therefore so since the norm function is a continuous map so recall that norm is a continuous map so it satisfies the sequential criteria so norm of x minus z must be limit of norm of x minus z n okay but limit of x minus norm of x minus z n is d so it is t that is that means it is the distance from x to y and this proves that this z is a best approximation from y to x now the uniqueness follows from fact 2 this proves that a non empty closed convex subset y of a hilbert space x contains a unique element of smallest norm okay why so suppose so observation suppose you take the null vector x to be theta okay then then from above there exists a unique z belongs to capital y such that norm of so here x is theta so therefore it is norm z equal to limit of norm limit of norm y y belongs to capital y and this is the distance from theta to y and this proves that this will be the smallest norm so there exists an unique vector in capital y having the smallest norm amongst the norms of the vectors in capital y so this is a in, this is a this is a sorry this is not the limit i'm sorry the infimum sorry the infimum here yeah. <coughs> okay <coughs> now so in the above we have deduced that if you take a hilbert space and a closed non empty closed convex subset then for every x you can find out a unique best approximation from y to x so this is a very nice case now if you consider instead of taking inner product spaces you just take a non linear space okay suppose x be a non linear space and you consider y to be a finite dimensional subspace of x then again for each x 
belongs to capital X. There exists a best approximation. from y to x okay this is true why because so suppose you take one x so let x belongs to capital x and with respect to this vector x you can form a an open ball okay actually uh, sorry, form a closed ball around theta having radius 2 norm x. Okay. So, b theta bar. So, this is set of all y belongs to capital Y such that norm of y is less or equal to 2 norm x. So, this is a closed ball around theta having radius 2 norm x. Okay. So, here you see that theta is an element of this. Okay. So, then the distance between x and b theta bar, what is that? So, this is infimum of norm of x minus y where y is in b theta bar okay now in particular theta is in b theta bar so this infimum must be less or equal to norm of x minus theta that is norm x okay so this proves that dx b theta bar is less or equal to norm x okay now, it is a fact that if y is a vector outside this closed ball, then we must have its norm will be greater than strictly greater than 2 norm x as per definition of b theta bar. And in that case, norm of x minus y will be greater equal to so, you can take this one norm y minus norm x. Okay. So, this is strictly greater than this. Right. So, therefore, so this shows that. So, this shows that the distance between x and b theta bar dxy is it true because of this one because of this above inequality this one
actually I should write it as does not belongs to b theta hmm. देखो ठीक है ना देखो भलोक that this b theta is a uh, this is a subset of y this should be remembered okay so this is a closed ball in capital y actually okay and being a subset so 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 if you consider the infimum then what will happen this infimum is is the infimum of all those norms and dx b theta bar is in term of y y belongs to b theta bar hmm. now since b theta bar is a subset of y then and the set joto boro hobe in term ta ki hobe chota hobe chota hobe thik aje मैं एखान तुम बोलते डिएक्स वाई मास्ट बी लेसर इक्वल टू डिएक्स बी थी बार ये बोला जाने तुम्हें समान देखा समान समान क्या देखा के गाज लगा यहाँ वाई जो दी बी थी तो वाले ना था के तो ले नॉर्म एक्स माइनस वाई टा कोतो अच्छे बोलो ये ये इकान देखेता को ये तो अपने डिएक्स बी थी बात इन देख लम अफ लेसर इक्ल टू नर्म एक्स क्योंकि नर्म एक्सा तुम्हार कि होने दिस इज लेस दैन नर्म अफ एक्स माइनस वाई फर अल वाई बिलंगस टू वाई माइनस बी थी बार देखो ठीक है कि ना टूम तमें इन आईदार केस दिस इम्प्लैज डिएक्स 
d theta bar is less or equal to norm of x minus y for all y belongs to capital Y. That way, that's what So here, yes, this is a lower bound of this set of all these real numbers. That one, if you take the so the infimum, so this is less or equal to infimum of norm of x minus y, y belongs to capital Y, and this is actually d of x y. So combining these two, so hence d x v theta bar equal to d x y and suppose it is d. So, if, so if a best approximation exists, then it must lie in v theta bar, right. But b theta bar is a closed bounded set. That is actually theorem statement of why it is a closed subspace. No, finite dimension subspace. B theta bar is a closed bounded subset in y where y is finite dimensional. So, therefore, this is compact. So, this is compact. Now, since this is compact and the norm function is continuous, so the function y turns norm x minus this from bx, uh, sorry, from b theta bar to r. So, this function since this is a continuous map, so it will assume a minimum value at some point. Right? So, this assumes a minimum value at some point y star belongs to b theta bar which is a subset of y. That is what you That means, norm of x minus y star it will be the infimum of norm of x minus y, y belongs to b theta bar that is d x b theta bar which is d x y. So, hence y star is a best approximation from capital Y to small x. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. I bond with her. Hm. Are you can add the money not a telepathy? Dichi at example, a jet to deco. What again the example? We best a process and barber. What a dinner at a bolo. A bullet says for the banaka level. A poradin filthy over. What a filthy over. Okay. 